What's going on, fantasy entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, back with another Game Card News update. Today, we're speaking about the football team, and we're speaking about the projected depth chart for the 2022 season. Before I go any further, man, here's what I need you to do. Join the Patreon. Yes, exclusive content is about to come. You don't want to miss it, so go to patreon.com forward slash Lucky Murray. The link will be in the description below. Also, the merch. Yeah, man, you want to get the merch, go to uh, go down to the link. It's all in the link below. Also, uh, 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 do this. Like the video, that's important. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. That will allow you know every time I drop a video. Three, share the video. Please share it. It helps out a ton. Let's get into this, man. So, 247sports.com got the projected depth chart. We're going to look at this real quick, right? We're going to look at this real quick, right? At quarterback, Spencer Rattler, Luke Doty, you know, and then they said, just as it was in during spring practice, most of the other guys are back, including Colton Gaithier and uh, Brandon Braden Davis, I think that's how you pronounce his name, and Tanner Baylor ju- joined the team early summer. Can one of these guys, three guys supplant Doty for number two? I don't think so. I think that Doty, this is probably Doty's situation. And when Spencer Rattler comes back, do you see Doty? Um, taking the reins again. Who knows? Uh, running back, Marshawn Lord and Christian Bill Smith. Oh, okay. Hold up. There are two top guys through much of the spring. There are other players who will have roles within the position. Juju McDowell is certain one of them. Columbia transfer Dante Miller made a quick impression this summer. Uh, even though he joined us a walk on. And um, a few other guys. That's the surprising. I don't know, guys, if I see Christian Bill Smith. as I, I feel like it's going to be Marshawn Lord, Juju McDowell, and Christian Bill Smith coming in for third down. That's just my thing. Wide receiver. Josh Van, DeCarion Joyner, Xavier Leggett, Antoine Juice Wells. Okay. Okay, so here's what they said. It'll be interesting to hear what Justin Stepp has to say about this group before practice begins. He got a lot. He got some options in addition to the names listed above. Um, Arkansas transfer, Corey Rucker and Landon Sampson both enrolled in May. Rucker experience at the college level should help him make a quick impression. At the very least, this position will be deeper, 22 If we could perform. This wide receiver position last year, I was a little upset because it seemed like a lot of those guys couldn't catch a cold. And we depended too much on Josh Van. And Josh Van couldn't stay healthy. He, he, Josh Van, to me, was the number one option because he had to be the number one option. So I, I just pray that somebody else steps up. And I, th- and I, I know Josh Van can, 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 can hurt him. You know, you got Juice Wells is looking good. Um, DK Joyner is going gonna, is gonna to do some things. So that, that looks good. So tight end, Jaheim Bell, Austin Stockner. Um, so Bell and Stockton will probably be on the field together a lot this season, which means that could be more difficult to get some of these wide receivers on the field. I I think so too. I think Bell and Stockton are both is going to be on the field, and I think that Juice Wells and Josh Van and DK Jordan is probably going to be the three really ones that are trying to get some some burn. I think everybody else getting where you fit in, um, to say the least. Left tackle, uh, Jalen Nichols, um, Jakia Moore, Jakai Moore. Sorry. Sorry, Nick established himself as the guy during the spring. He went, you know, so left guard, you got uh, Vershawn Lee, and you got uh, Trey Jones. Um, you got center, you got Eric Douglas, Hank uh, Monas. Mona, God, I hate these, these names, man. Right guard, you got Javon Gwynn. Um, right tackle, you got uh, uh, Dylan Wanam. Wanam. Right, so that that's it for the office, right? That's it. So, what is my thoughts, man? As we 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 sat down together and read, and I butchered a lot of people's names. <laughs> One of uh, three things. One, we already know what Spencer Rattler should be able to do. If our offensive line really does what it's supposed to do, right? We got a lot of skills played. We got we got now Spencer Rattler. If the offensive line can do what they want to do. One of two things going to happen. One, our running game is going to greatly improve, which is going to take pressure off the passing game. Two, our passing game should flourish because team got to respect the running game. I think if those things happen, I think that we can win nine to ten games. If the, if, if the offense struggles 
as far as the offensive line, we're probably in the seven eight game range. But it's football time, baby. Do you smell? I'm joking with you. If you don't know I was a wrestling fan back in the day, you should know that. You should know that. But here's what I need you to do. Because it's football season, baby. I'm tired of talking about just random stuff. I'm tired of talking about nothing. Football season, baby. Let's get it. Let me just think about this in the comment section below. And also, if you like this video, man, please go watch the video here and go subscribe right somewhere right here. But once again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, and please don't forget all three. Lucky Bird, back with another Game Cut News update. We talked about projected roster uh, for the offense. You let me know who you're supposed to be uh, uh, starting in offense. You let me know what time it is in the comment section below. But like always, it's the next time, people.